So hello, uh, I'm here with Eric Eckerden, CTO of Ericsson. In fact, I say here, I'm here in London while he's in uh, Stockholm in Sweden. Um, we're going to talk about energy consumption. Eric, great to, great to see you today. Uh, this is such a critical topic. Tell us a little bit about why it's so important to the uh, communications and wider tech industry. Well, uh, great to meet you too, Gabriel. It is uh, an area that we have a very long history of improving performance of our networks. And of course, energy performance is one of the key attributes there. But we now also see that we have so much more to do when it comes to impact on other sectors. And that's where we can support in the current climate situation. I think as a technology leader in this industry, we can uh, set tougher goals for ourselves. In our case, this is a thought leadership topic, driving energy uh, as a topic in itself. And uh, we can innovate, uh, define new uh, advanced functionality, and of course, help the industry with technology that gets standardized and, and therefore we can roll it out across the world. But it also means that not only is it saving the cost, it's a new business opportunity. In fact, if you look at our sector, we have around 1.4% of the global carbon emissions. But the impact in using our digitalization technologies, including 4G and 5G, is as much as 15%. So that means that in sectors like transport, energy itself, of course, manufacturing, we can really reduce the energy consumption. And I think that's really one of the great news of using the digital infrastructure. We've also worked very diligently since uh, 20 years in terms of defining science-based targets. And we have this work on the exponential roadmap, reaching the 1.5 degree centigrade target. And I think that's also helping every industry to realize the power of using 4G, 5G as the digitalization infrastructure. In fact, this is also one of the key challenges in our industry. Uh, we estimate that around 25 billion US dollar is, is a cost of energy across the mobile sector globally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I, um, I really love that idea that through communications technology, we can actually reduce consumption in, in other sectors. I think that's uh, very powerful. Um, you mentioned the $25 billion, though. If you, well, what we very often hear, particularly as we go now into 5G, is it's going to cause a big ramp in, in, in network energy consumption. Um, what, you know, what can we do about that? Yeah, well, first of all, I think every, every company, every sector need to look after the, their own part. And in our case, we've set very clear targets for 2030 to be carbon neutral. But I, I think, as you point out, when we look at the impact on other sectors, we really have to look at the uh, power of digitalization. It also means that we have to look at the energy consumption of 4G to 5G. And uh, we expect about four times more traffic in just five years time by 2025. And we will not increase the energy consumption. And that's what we call breaking the energy curve. So we're taking it very serious uh, as a task for the whole industry to make sure that we can move to the latest technology without increasing energy consumption. Okay, so just to, to check if I understood that correctly, we can increase traffic 4x, we can introduce 5G, but the total network energy consumption isn't going to increase? That's correct. Um, and it's also so that when you upgrade 4G to 5G with software in the Ericsson case, when you install new advanced technologies across the site, you have to be smart about making sure that you're not only deploying the latest technologies in the high density, high capacity areas. That, there is obvious you need it to, to lower the energy consumption per, per, per gigabit uh, delivered. But you also need to make the upgrade across the, the wide area coverage, because that's where you can reduce consumption significantly. You have lower usage, but the latest technology will really help you. And then on top of this, of course, it comes very much with using operational data to make the whole system data driven. So AI plays a big role in terms of getting these uh, energy consumption levels down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff. And just to, 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 to close out the interview a little bit, could you maybe comment on how kind of new or cleaner sources of energy are, are playing into this discussion? Um, obviously, we've seen unit prices come down a lot from wind and solar and things like that. How does that impact what communication providers do and then their customers? So I, I think you're absolutely right. This is an opportunity for the industry to move away from uh, diesel powered uh, generators, uh, supplying sites and, and base stations to solar primarily. And, and Ericsson is, is leading and driving that transformation. Uh, that goes in, in areas where it's, it's really important to, to use alternative sources. But you can also see across the whole industry that we are pioneering and driving when it comes to use of renewable. And I think that's a, a good sign from the whole industry sector. OK, terrific. Uh, thanks for talking to us today, Eric. Thank you, Gabriel.